Good morning, friends. Good morning to my YouTube channel of astrologer Anil Agarwal. Today we will be talking about my predictions I made already for the globe. And the article heading is Astrology Speaks Loudly. Prediction spot on for world dancing to tune of planets. Mars ammunition dump may add fuel to the fire after 18th of June. Why 18th of June? Because Mars will then, after 18th of June, Mars will be aspecting Rahu and uh, Rahu and Mercury. And Mars will be in turn aspected by Saturn. And degree wise aspect of Saturn, Saturn will be aspecting Mars degree wise and Mars will be aspecting Rahu degree wise and the eclipse point on the 27th, 28th of June. My dear friends, this is the most enigmatic time frame from the 25th June to 30th of June. So on the basis of this, I'm writing the articles, you know, the planetary positions are just taking the world for a rough patch and a rough ride and the planetary positions are extremely bad, especially in the month of June. Uh, the, the lunation chart of 6 June is also not a good one. Mars is squaring uh, both Moon and Sun at 21 degrees and it, there is a complete it's all inimical it's all between the luminaries, the life-giving force and Mars. Mars is the eighth lord of the uh, natural zodiac and uh, uh, well, Mars there is a nakshatra exchange also for, uh, uh, till the fourth and fifth. So you can expect cyclones, earthquakes, and especially Mrikshira nakshatra is in the central region of India, and it it it, it signifies the Maharashtra. It signifies Odisha. It signifies uh, uh, what they call Gujarat, and all those areas I've already mentioned as per the Kurma chakra. And as per the Rashi Sangata Chakar, also there is Veda. There is Veda from Rahu to Mercury, Jupiter, and Saturn. And Mars is giving Veda to Sun and Venus. And Moon is transiting. You know, whenever Moon will get Veda that day, things will be very, very bad. And the other part is the most venomous part in June is that Rahu will be in adverse motion for a number of days first of all till 31st of may then from the 7th to 20th of uh, uh, 7th to 15th of may and then from the 20th uh, sorry 7th to uh, what do you call 20th 7th to 20th of june and then sorry 7th to 15th of june and then from 20th of june to 5th of july so you can imagine when Rahu is in adverse motion and there are eclipses taking place and there is, uh, you know, and then Mars activates the eclipse point at 6 degrees on the 28th when Saturn will also be at 6 degrees. It will be aspecting Mars and Mars will be aspecting Rahu and the luminaries, the, the, the eclipse point of 6 degrees, it is going to be very crucial. And Mars going in the watery sign is very bad. There will be, uh, you know, a lot of rains and it is behind sun so uh, very good rains are promised but the southern uh, southwestern uh, rain is starting from kerala on the which has to start from the first of june because saturn is in the sign uh, capricorn and it is retrograde it may get delayed but after 18th of june there will be a lot of rains in the south india uh, and then maharashtra uh, gujarat etc all these places will be flooded it's for sure that there will be floods, cyclones, etc. And the planetary positions are extremely bad. Now, I have discussed four uh, countries in my uh, uh, article. First of all, I have discussed India, then I have discussed China, then I have discussed US, and then lastly, I have discussed Japan. Uh, I uh, you see uh, the article became very big, so I wanted to write about Italy also. The why I wanted to write for Italy was because, you know, in the month of June, uh, Jupiter is getting fallen. You know, fallen planet is just like a car going up the hill. And when it loses the motion, it travels back without brakes and it falls from a height. And maybe it is falling in its, in its own sign, but it is falling where Ketu is placed and where the eclipses have taken place. And for India, it is the 22nd Dreshkorn. It is the 8th house, 8th lord in retrogation. And then in a fallen state, 
and then with Rahu Ketu is extremely bad. The eighth house gets affliction as far as the India is concerned, and then for China it is the twelfth house, and it is also the twenty-second threshold. So both these parameters are not good. Some astrologers would be thinking that Jupiter is joining back in its own sign; it will become very strong. My dear friend, Jupiter gets afflicted in four ways: number one, retrogression; number two, debilitation; number three, in Rahu Ketu axis when it forms a Guru Chandal yoga. And the fourth is fallen, and when whenever a planet goes in a sign, and then it becomes retrograde when it falls back in the previous sign, then it is a fallen planet. Maybe it is in its own house. That is the only grace. But it will be very weak. Even when if it is in its own house, it will be in retrogression. It will be fallen, and then it will be in uh, guru. It will also form a guru chandal yoga. So, my dear friends, it is the worst time for the world and economy. We will go for a toss. Uh, especially those countries where the Jupiter is also fallen. As for China, Jupiter is fallen. It is also the Karka for wealth. So China will suffer the most. It is going back in the uh, in the twelfth house. It is the twenty second direction where the eclipse had taken place. And then <clears throat> on top of it, Mercury is also getting retrograde on the eighteenth of June. So friends, it is uh, for China. It is the sixth lord and the ninth lord. It's going in retrogation, and at the time of eclipse, it was the yoga lord and also the sixth lord because the Aries sign was rising in China. So there could be a relapse of disease as far as the uh, China is concerned. And uh, as a yoga lord, it was also the yoga lord as yoga lord going in retrogation. And Mercury as, as the natural uh, in the natural zodiac, it is the sixth lord going in retrogation. It indicates that there, as for Prashna Jyotish, if any planet. Which is the sixth lord when it goes in retrogression shows a indicates a relapse of disease. So, friends, uh, people, the countries are taking very easily the time when there should have been a, a total lockdown and social distancing and community spread. The chances of community spread are there. The lockdowns are being eased. My dear friends, June month is going to be the most toughest month as far as the coronavirus is concerned. And the other activities because the eclipse is also taking place, and Rahu is in a, a in a most malefic state, and Rahu has the capacity to turn the tables upside down. So, friends, uh, you can read. I have written so many articles. I have written about Donald Trump also. Donald Trump Dasha is uh, for Jupiter Saturn, and the Saturn is the debilitation lord of Jupiter. So Jupiter will never be able to give deliver the. Uh, uh, required results. Jupiter is also fallen, and Jupiter fallen place in the second house gives a call happenings. I don't want to uh, really elaborate it, and you can see for yourself the racism which has taken place in U.S. I had predicted this that he can fail face uh, you know a call happenings. All of a sudden they will be happening, and he will get into hot waters. He had to hide in a bunker in the White House. Read my articles. I mentioned whatever is happening. All has been predicted by me, and you see for yourself. In the month of June, things will not be good. The stock market is going up for the time being, but friends, when things will be exposed, a lot of scandals will be exposed in the month of June, June and July. June and July both are very, very bad. Now, leaving aside coronavirus, coronavirus will be eased after 27th of July, as a matter of fact, and then 2nd of August, and then 22nd of August, and then 20th. Of September, slowly and slowly it will disappear. But my dear friends, the nature has something more in store for the world, and that is uh, that is beyond the control of the human being. It is the natural disasters, the floods, earthquakes, cyclones, and then Mars in watery sign will give excessive uh, rains, and there will be floods. And especially when it goes in Aries, and then it falls back uh, in the sign. Pisces, that will be the worst time for the world because at that point of time, that will be on from the 4th of October to 24th of December, when there will be the sign lord of uh, uh, Mars will also be fallen because uh, Mars will be in the sign Pisces and Jupiter will also be fallen in the sign Sagittarius. So this is very crucial period, especially from the 4th of October to 20th of November, the world will reel in troubles and the 14th. December you know, solar eclipse, which is taking place uh, as far as the US is concerned in the 410 axis. And for uh, Donald Trump, 
it is extremely bad because it is taking place at 29 degrees and where the planets are you know uh, uh, the, the nakshatra is also just and 29 degrees he has uh, planets in 29 degrees sun is at 29 degrees moon is at 29 degrees and rahu ketu also for those degrees so the moment there is the ingress of rahu and ketu over the rahu and ketu and sun and moon he will be in deep trouble and uh, as i have mentioned he has fallen jupiter and jupiter will also be fallen at that time jupiter is his eighth lord it will fall in the eighth from the uh, 10th house so friends it is very obvious what what is going to be he'll have a bad name you see a fallen planet connected to the second house gives ill reputation ill reputation or ill name maybe whatever it the case may be and you can you will see for yourself after 30th of june what what uh, donald trump has to go through so friends uh, talking about japan japan 9 years back had a massive tsunami and earthquake and the eclipse at 5 degrees of the 21st june is not a good one it is just falling exactly on moon which is also the eighth lord and uh, my dear friends uh, uh, japan has to go through a very tough time because of this economy the economy will go for a toss and there may be excessive rains tsunami and uh, natural disasters so as far as china is concerned the eclipse is falling in the sixth house and where mercury is also there and in their natal mercury is at 20 degrees with uh, ketu and mars uh, mars and mercury will also be at 20 degrees i mentioned the date i don't remember this is so much so many things they're very difficult to remember talking i've written almost six seven page article and to remember all those things is very difficult but i can tell you at 20 degrees mercury and 20 degrees mars uh, <clears throat> i've mentioned that china will also have to face a tough time and so will us although in there there will be the brawl between the countries especially uh, china and uh, india and china and us the trade wars will go ugly you see us wants to use uh, india as a battlefield but uh, uh, donald uh, donald trump wants that that they, uh, he should take a revenge from china uh, by using india and uh, narendra modi has to be very intelligent and uh, smart enough to pave away uh, such type of uh, you know happenings so and so that india may not suffer but china is bent upon uh, creating a mischief is uh, the the mars his his mars is placed as per kn rao and the mars placement for a particular country makes it war mongering and it, china has got debilitated mars in the seventh house and uh, you see the dasha is of mercury uh, mercury venus and venus is in the uh, in the 10th house and uh, transit uh, mars will be connected to the dasha lords mercury mercury and venus by eighth aspect so there are and the natal uh, mars also aspects the venus so there is every possibility that china may do some mischief even if uh, for 35 days for india are very bad starting from 31st of may to 4th of july there will be all sort of cyclones uh, earthquakes excessive uh, floods especially in mumbai maharashtra gujarat and then the south india also and uh, 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 what do you call china will also suffer china it can have because the mercury will go in retrogation and as per prashant jyotish when the sixth lord goes in retrogation there is a relapse of disease so there is a possibility of the reoccurrence of the virus so friends uh, this is not about all italy also has fallen jupiter and obviously italy will also face financial crisis and maybe there is some relapse of the disease. I have not gone to the, but I know that Jupiter is fallen in Virgo as far as, uh, what do you call, uh, Italy is concerned. And probably that is the 22nd Dreshkun. So the 22nd Dreshkun Lord is uh, is under eclipse. So Italy will is also bound to face some troubles. So friends, uh, with this, I just wanted to tell you that uh, till 5th, of uh, june also things are extremely bad and there could be cyclones in india and especially 
uh, in the central region because the uh, the nakshatra in the eclipse of the 21st june is mrikshira which falls in the uh, central region and uh, you know there are uh, other uh, places also mentioned in the mundane astrology book on the page 66 all those places are prone to cyclones and floods especially uh, in the month of june july july and till august till august the last week there could be floods lot of floods in india and uh, rain as far as india is concerned it may come in the first week uh, of uh, july but rains prop uh, rains will start as far as kerala is concerned maybe from the 6th or 7th of uh, june and they may reach bombay etc uh, after 12th 13th of june and there will be excessive rains the moment mars goes in the sign pisces so friends uh, with this i don't know what nature has in store for the world but things are getting worse in june is june and july months are going to be the toughest months and then maybe october and december also but for the time being uh, june and july are extremely uh, venomous and uh, you know especially the uh, as per can raw the theory of inevitability and when mars you know activates the eclipse points it's a time of disaster it is a time of catastrophe especially when the eclipses have taken place very close to the nodes but the fortunate part is that the nodes degrees are less they are not on the mouth of the uh, luminaries but uh, all the same the luminaries are with uh, rahu and ketu and in the same nakshatra brikshira so that is bad so brikshira and mars is the lord for it and mars will aspect mars is aspecting right from the 18th and for us the mars the moment mars goes in pisces it is zero degrees in germany and the eclipses over the four planets in the 11th house and as per varamira also the gemini sign is given to uh, us and you can see for yourself i've written so many articles that this eclipse is going to be very malefic for us and with that and on for india it is taking place uh, in the second house over the natal mars which is the 12th lord and the 7th lord and i've already mentioned in all my videos etc there is 100 percent possibility of a espionage or terrorism maybe it is from china maybe it is from pakistan but definitely the terrorism part you cannot rule out so friends and especially the dasha of ketu you now for the 35 days the pratantra dasha of ketu and after that the dasha of venus and the venus is also the sixth lord so friends with this uh, i think uh, you know, narendra modi has a tough time to come and i've already mentioned after september things will be deteriorating for him also so and uh, especially two, uh, september 2021 to september 2022 is extremely bad for narendra modi uh, as far as donald trump is concerned i don't i don't see him i have been writing articles i have been uh, uh, telling in my videos also that there is no possible not even iota of a possibility of donald trump coming back and you can see for yourself what has happened in yesterday and day before yesterday and such type of activities are going to repeat and they are going to take an ugly shape very soon especially at the time of uh, the the elections in november because at that time, point of time uh, jupiter will be also be fallen and mars will also be fallen so these two planets are the key planets for uh, uh, donald trump because mars mars is the ninth lord it's a yoke karka for leo lagna and for uh, for us and uh, jupiter is the fifth lord and the eighth lord fifth lord is the panchuti you know for in politics fifth house has to be very strong for politics for coming in politics and coming back to power and jupiter in transit and jupiter in the natal chart are extremely bad and similarly this jupiter is very bad for china because it, it china has a fallen jupiter in the sign sagittarius and falling back on sagittarius it will create a havoc for china also so friends with this uh, this is what i want to say all negatives are coming it is not in our hands i wish my predictions go wrong and uh, wishing you all the best friends let us hope everything goes well but uh, and rahu is also uh, most venomous in the month of june 
and it has the capability of turning the tables upside down a glass of full, full of water it can turn upside down so the stock market will have a lot of you know a lot of uh, <coughs> change vol volatility in the stock market there will be a lot of volatility because rahu is most of the time it is in forward motion from the first till 31st then from 7th till 15th and then from 20th till 5th of july i have not seen about july but let us first see what happens till 5th of july because these 35 days for india are also prone to all the happenings what i have mentioned ketu dasha patanta dasha may not be good it is in the seventh house and it is in the seventh house and we have seen as per rudram chart it is not it is never given good results and especially the antar dasha of saturn and the moon and saturn forming a ratio so friends uh, with folded hands i uh, <clears throat> i pray god that uh, uh, the complete world is out of this agonies and india is also out of this agony especially these 35 days they should pass well i let my prediction go wrong i don't mind but we should go through we should not go through a rough patch so wishing you all the best friends see you in the next video bye bye thank you for listening